Keith, welcome into the camp. You've flown down from Sydney uh, to give you the boys your support. Yeah, no, it's um, been back in, in Sydney for a few weeks just to see some family and uh, stuff like that. So it's uh, you know just going quite well with the boys. The boys been down here. It's uh, good to get down and be amongst the boys again. Yeah. How's the injury coming along? Yeah, it's coming along all right. Um, it's about six months post-op now, so um, you know I'll start some running very soon, and um, hopefully that progresses pretty quick. And um, you know hopefully about two months from now I should be right to play. Melbourne perennial champions here here in Australia. It's going to be a really tough day for the boys uh, on Friday, but they're confident they can get the job done. Yeah, I think, I think we can get the win. Um, you know, Melbourne's obviously you know the best the best te team down here. They have been for a long time, but um, you know it's, it's it's 80 minutes of football. Um, I think I think we're up for it. I know the boys want to perform on the big stage, and I can't see no reason why we can't get that win. I reckon it's going to be 20,000 fans inside Amy Park. Should be a, a fantastic atmosphere. Yeah, you know it's an awesome awesome stadium. So. Um, I'm sure it's going to be loud and a bit, bit sort of envious and jealous and not out there. We're missing quite a few big men yourself. Uh, Nate Petteru, Anthony Mullally's not, not here uh, and Mitch Garbert as well out injured. Uh, do you think that'll play into Melbourne's hands? Oh, you know, not really. I think it's um, obviously a few props down, but you know, it gives, gives other players the opportunity to sort of get out there and impress. So, um, you know, I'm sure all the boys that are sort of coming into it will you know, give it their best and be up for it. We saw England go so close with Australia in the World Cup final, just missing out by a single score. Uh, do you think that will give the English game a boost and give the lads a bit of a lift going into this match? Yeah, definitely. I think um, you know England came came down under and performed, so um, you know, I think it's, it's, it's great for the game in the Northern Hemisphere. And, um, and I'm sure if, if Leeds can put on a big performance uh, tomorrow night, then it's going to be great for Super League. You see the fans here watching uh, watching the team train. It's great to see so many fans have travelled down to down to Australia. Yeah, awesome. You know, obviously Melbourne's a great city, so I'm sure they're having a good time. But you know, Leeds Rhinos fans are tremendous, you know, and it's just shown how they've travelled to the other side of the world to support their side.